All right, folks, second video on this guy from Pioneer. It's known as the SVM1000. And also, this particular video is exclusive to the website audiotoots.com. Now, in video number two, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a basic audio and video mix using a set of Pioneer DVJ 1000s and the SVM 1000, which is the video mixer. Now, first of all, these players can play most forms of audio and video. Check on it first. What I've got in here now is I've got an actual DVD, a music DVD. Now, if you think about, let's say, a normal, for, for example, a normal audio CD, if you have your hand on the platter, you are able to move the audio backwards and forwards. I'm just going to move the video trim down for a second. Just have a listen. I'm now in control of the audio. What I'm going to do is put the video trim up and I would like you to watch the screen there. I'm now in control of the audio and the video. If I wanted to, I could reduce the audio trim. Now watch the screen. I'm now just in control of the video. So you have to bear that in mind. So you can just manipulate the video and take away the audio or vice versa or have them both together. I'm now going to put the audio up like so. Now again, if you know anything about DJing, there is an element of matching keys, beats per minute, etc. and matching beats with beats. So they don't sound a bit too much all over the place. This is a very, it's, in a sense, this is sort of giving you an idea of what this particular mixer and the players can do. So let's press play on this guy over here. notice there what I've done is I've set this channel here so we've got the LEDs just tapping in and around the zero dB level that's quite important for audio there's no point having it up to maximum up 10 up here because you go in the red and then what could happen you have a distorted sound going through your PA system into your speakers it may sound loud but it will inevitably sound distorted <laughs> Now again, turn that down a bit. If I want to, hand here. I can manipulate audio and video. Or just video. Or just audio. Okay, let's just pause that for a second. Let's have a look at the other player now. Let's have a listen first of all. Bring the audio trim down. Master up. Okay, so maybe you're starting to get the general idea. And again, what you need to do is not think, wow, this is very, very intricate. You need to look at it from the simplistic point of view. You're just going to be mixing audio and video together. <coughs> That's it. Okay, let's press play on this guy here. What I'm going to do by using the crossfade, I can actually go from one music DVD to the other one. And I can edit it like that as well. And then at some point, I can just bring that guy in. Now, what you need to pay attention to as well is the screen, so you'll be able to see the two videos mixing in as well as the audio. Shame. 
up on the scene. Mm-hmm. Y'all know me. Cause I walk with a limp like a old school pimp or a real OG. I'm Okay, I hope it's given you a very basic idea as to what this particular audio video mixer can do. There's a lot more to this than meets the eye. It's the Pioneer SVM 1000 and I'm using two DVJ 1000s. Don't forget, these videos are exclusive to audiotoots.com. Practice and enjoy.